Du lebst nur zweimal. Zwei. Right. We're going to call this episode Du lebst nur zweimal. You only live twice. Maybe three times, but twice for this one. Guten Tag. Welcome to Don't Worry mm. Beer Happy. It is season five German beers. And Dave D is in the room. Very surprised that I can speak any German. However, in the previous ones, I did surprise you with some words. So come on, come on, come on. Number four. Do, oh do, do you want a little bit of German? Oh, go on. Okay. The Euler ist schön. Oh, God, I feel like a secret agent. Do I need yeah. to decode that? Wait a minute. Yeah. See, see if I can work this out. The Euler. The Euler ist schön. Ah. The map is in the bottom shelf of the fridge. Is that right? No, it means oh. the it means it means the um, the owl is beautiful. What beer have we got then? Come on, stop. Okay, ne next up, it's another another crystal. Ooh, so that's... another another filtered wheat beer. But um, this is by Huber Vices, which is a new brewer for the channel. Huber. Da 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 Eight. Well, right. I'm going seven. I know it's still quite basic and there's no story on the back, but I love the polar bear. Well, wait a minute. There's some words on the back. Is that not a story? Well. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Is the answer. Yeah, I missed that. I missed, I didn't. I, I missed that when I was looking into them. It says something on the back. It might well say, here's the emergency exit. But it says something on the back. Yes, oh dear. Never mind. We have to skip over that bit. Never mind. I'll keep that in the edit. Show him up. Well, my my fun fact for this one. Oh, yes. Fun fun facts, King, with a polar bear. Yeah. This uh, this brewer yes. is based in Freising in Germany. Freising, which is why it says there. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And the, the university in Freising yep. is a world leader in brewing research. Oh, brilliant. So the other one was Crystal Clar. This one's Crystal. And I have to say, this is slightly, what's, what's, what's that colour? On Yellow. This is not as clear, let me just put it that way, as the one in, number, as in episode three. No, it's... It, it's not quite so clear, but I've got a better froth. This is funnily enough. This looks more like a like a wheat beer than the other one. You know what's interesting? I'm putting that up to my nose. It smells like shandy with this froth. I'm going to give it an eight for the um, for the um, what you call it? The look. The look. The look and the sniff. Can I give it an eight? Well, I'm going to go nine for the look because I've got a good bit of froth. It is clear. Not quite so clear as the other one, but still clear. Yeah, there's a flavour down the middle that I can't quite... Banana. Yes. Do you know what? Literally, but when you said I can't do it, I, I had... I, do, you know, do you know those banana sweets? That you yeah. Used to get? Yeah. It's almost like that banana sweet is, mm. is popped straight on the middle of your tongue and the wheat is like a, a you um like a rainbow shape around it. That's exactly what it is. Wow. I wonder how they've done that. This is this is unlike any other crystal wheat beer we've had, I think. In yeah. the way that the the, the flavour, as you say, it's sort of got that arc to it. With the banana running down the middle. Yes. Cool, this is lovely. It's got more character. It's more animated. And in terms of a flavour, 
you're not just kind of going, well, is this a stepping ground? This is this is kind of going, I'm a bit more than that. And I feel a bit more animated about it because I've never had that kind of taste shape with a with a banana. No, I haven't. So no, I'm I I, I, so this is a 10 for me for taste. No. Yeah, I'm I'm going to match you for taste to 10. Yeah. I mean, that is just it is, isn't it? Wow. It reminds me of a rainbow coloured wheat taste with those banana sweets dropped on your tongue. How brilliant is that? I'm quite stunned by this one in terms of taste. That just is Wow. They, they've done something that I don't think out of all the reviews we've done, I've, I've never come across. I, I am going to go with the danger of nine for this, though. Yes, that's exactly because... what I got down, but... Sorry, go on. Well, I think, you know, if you have a few of these, the, the banana would, would become a bit too, too much. much. Too much, yeah. yep. 8.75 for me is the average. I, I will happily go with your nine as the, as the average. Yeah, nine. I mean, it is. And what is it? It's, it's a 5% and a 5.4%. And again, it doesn't feel like it. Based based on the taste. Yeah. And a little bit of the danger thrown in yeah. and the unexpected. Yeah. I'm going with Mo Salah. Oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I should have gone first. <laughs> you bugger. You absolute bugger. It is. It's a Mo Salah all over, and I've got to. I've got to say that. Um, however, um, oh god. Um, right. So I'm going to go for. I'm go. I'm going to go for the first striker that ever came to to my attention when I started supporting this club. It's the first picture that I put in my scrapbook. So I'm going for Roger Hunt. Oh, Roger Hunt is a blast from the past. Hey, it's a good blast. Good blast from the past.